In this mini video lecture, let's try to understand what are the strengths of the C programming language. So typically in the campus interview, someone may ask you, what do you think are the advantages or the strengths of the C programming language? So you could give some of these points to them and discuss them. The first point is, it's an extremely small language. It generates code which is extremely efficient and I would call it as a lean, mean, efficient language. Now suppose I had to print a message called as hello world in a language called COBOL which stands for common business oriented language. It would probably take me 8 to 10 lines to just print a simple message. In C, it uses a lot of mathematical like and little of English like language to reduce the number of key or number of keystrokes you need to type. So a lot of other languages, there is a lot of typing kind of things to do. But in C, with a minimum amount of typing or a minimum length of code, you can get a lot of work done. That's why programs in C will generally be smaller than programs written in most of the other languages. Now the modern C compilers are so good in the sense if I have to write code using machine language, that would be the fastest because I am going to write exactly what is required. Although there are a lot of challenges and drawbacks using the machine level language. If I have to write it assembly, it's going to be extremely fast, but it's going to take a lot of time to write assembly language and it will for every platform to platform, I have to rewrite it because it depends upon the hardware architecture. But the modern C compilers are so good that given an input high level language or a high level program in C, they convert it into very efficient machine language code, which is almost as though you're writing your code in assembly level language. So it gives you the advantage of faster development using a high level language, plus the advantage of a low level language like assembly in terms of execution speed. So the code generated by modern C compilers is extremely efficient and the performance is comparable to an assembly level language code. This is really great. Almost no modern programming language provides you the kind of hardware access that C provides you. You can access the resistors of the CPU. You can access the ports of the machine. You can manipulate the bits and bytes in a memory location, which almost no language gives you the power to do it in an easy manner. So if you have to play around with the hardware of a given computer or an embedded system, there are few languages which can compete with C. That's why C is a preferred language of choice when you come to the embedded systems. Portability. This is a common word which is thrown around why C is such a popular language. By the word portability what you mean is suppose on the AMD processor I develop a C program and I want to run it on a Linux machine using let's say a Motorola processor. So all that I need for this program developed on an AMD processor on Windows to run, run on a Linux operating system using a Motorola processor is I need the target machine that is the Linux operating system using the Motorola chip to have a C compiler. I just need to copy my C code onto that particular machine, recompile it and I can easily run that particular code. So a machine, uh, sorry, so a code written on one machine can be easily moved around to different machines by just by recompiling and being able to execute it. This is not possible with lot of other languages because C being extremely old and popular has compilers available for almost any modern machine architecture or hardware. There are close to 50 operators in C. Operators in the sense you mean multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, moving the bit to the left, moving the bit to the right, checking whether the condition is true, greater than, lesser than. So there are about 50 operators. So you can do a lot of powerful programming using these number of operators. Now one of the beauty of C is you can do low level hardware access, manipulate the resistors, the memory, as well as you can write applications like games. So C is able to give you the 
power and speed of a low level language as well as the ease of writing higher applications like games using languages like C++. So it's neither a high nor a low level language. You can treat it as a middle level language which gives you the benefits of low level language as well as a high level language. C as a language is really small. It does a lot of things using libraries. So the C language itself just has very limited number of keywords and operators and keys to use. So you're not going to have a very big language where you have to learn a lot of things. It's a very small language with very few restrictions. I've already told you this. You can write a business application. You can write a game. You can do a low level programming using C. That's why C is an example of a general purpose language. I've talked about this before in a prior video. There is almost no modern programming language which gives you the speed of execution comparable to C. It is performance of C is almost close to assembly language in terms of speed of execution. Now these last two keywords are really commonly thrown around. By the word modular code what you mean is suppose I have a big program which requires me to use the square root, it requires me to use the power function. I am not required to develop all the code in one place. I can divide this problem into a number of small problems. Each problem can contribute to the solution of the total problem. So this is what you really mean by the modular approach. In the sense, the program is broken down into a number of sub-programs or what is also known as modules. And each module is supposed to deal with one sub-aspect or small aspect of solving the problem. So you will get this word modular code thrown around. It means breaking down a big program into a number of small programs, combining those small programs to find the solution of the complete problem. Structured. When you go to coding in assembly or machine level languages, there will be a lot of instructions called as jump, go to, here and there. Now what happens with that is assembly language code becomes extremely hard to understand and read because the code will have a number of instructions taking you from one point of the program to the other point and it becomes extremely hard to understand how the code is working or what it is doing. When we talk about a structured approach to developing code, what it really means is the code is executed in a sequential manner. That is there is one instruction after the other and there are no statements like go to which transfer control of the instructions from one place randomly to another place in the code because that makes it extremely hard to understand what your code is trying to do. So I believe this should give you an idea about what are strengths of a C programming language. The most important of them I would say would be low level access, portability, excellent speed of execution and modular and structured approach. So with this I'd like to conclude on this video which I have discussed the strengths of the C programming language.